We're going to make it. Those who can laugh without cause have either found the true meaning of happiness or have gone stark raving mad. Norm Papernick. I woke up early one morning and Kira and Valerie were already immersed in cartoons. Morning, Mama, Kira gleamed as I stepped away from my bedroom. Morning, baby, I returned, rubbing my eyes as I reshuffled to the restroom. A yawn and a good stretch later, my eyes focused in on my daughters, and then a huge mountain of hair piled skillfully next to the couch. I looked from the heap of hair that was the size of a medium dog, back up to my daughters. Both had new, very short haircuts. Oh, Lord. Their hair was gone. The girls used to have lovely long hair that had reached to their lower backs. Now it was laying in huge tufts on the floor. Valerie's new bangs were about half an inch long. Kira was so proud of herself that she was smiling from ear to ear, still holding the kid scissors. How kid-friendly they were. I stared at both of them for a minute. Oh my gosh. But I didn't get mad or upset, not even slightly. I saw myself in both of them. I experienced a flashback, seeing my mother scream at me after I had spray-painted the backyard shed with killer cat warnings. I wasn't about to make my daughter feel bad for what she did. And Kira, I saw myself as a little girl wanting to be a part of something special, cutting hair just as a real barber does. After a trip to the real hair salon, I took Kira to Walmart to buy a special toy, a Play-Doh fashion head where she could cut lots of pretend hair in a less destructive way. It felt so good to remain unruffled and not repeat my mother's mistakes. I guess it's never too late to have a happy childhood. I could still laugh. I knew we were going to make it.